Yeah. I got a job for you. No? Yeah, got a problem. No. It's fine, but short notice, price goes up. You clear on that? Don't care about the cost, just need it done. Okay. Name? Sydney Davis. Location? 94 Driftwood Boulevard. Boulevard. Execution? Um, I need her dead. Do you want it clean? Do you want it brutal? Would you like me to use some sort of a weapon to send a message? Oh, clean's fine. Clean. All right, shut up, I'm asking. Hey man, could you get rid of the body? No trace. Yeah, that all right. Beautiful. <laughs> and lastly, any trophies? What do you mean trophies? Typically, people like to take personal belongings, jewels, earrings. I had a woman in the last job that wanted a shoe. Uh, oh, could you take a tooth? Interesting. Weird, I know. <laughs> we don't judge, pal. Not in this business. Okay. By 9 p.m. tonight, you can consider it done. And don't call this phone again, okay? It won't work. Okay, real quick. Before you go, can I ask your question? instead of calling for help. Whatever strangeness seems to be taking place in this rock, I'm certain the culprit are its occupants. I can promise that I'm not speaking as a saint, or an exception for that matter. In fact, I willingly make the world a worse off place. And every day, whatever's real seems to drift further and further away from me. The wealthy. The matured ones tend to come off as domesticated heathens. The fat cats enjoying their meals while they torture their everyday salesperson. They afford their several cars, their houses, while others, just a few miles away, rely on food stamps and odd jobs just to put a meal on their plate for that one night. The ones left behind because of all the dirty and irresponsible shit this country is built off of. Take an aerial view and all this comes off as some disease spread across a once fruit-filled land. A land that wanted to give. Yeah, but we took too much. And we didn't give enough back in return. Everybody seems to think that it's only a matter of time until we destroy this planet. 
But I say, it's only a matter of time until we piss her off to the point where she calls upon the high seas to come and filter us out. To reiterate, I am no exception. I mesh in when I have to, but mainly I sit back and watch this beast unfold. A beast that I certainly feed in my own hideous way. And I'm not just part of this problem. Well, I think I am the problem. A wolf to a fawn, I am the epitome of sin. The liars, the thieves, they are just an ugly casing of what makes the world a frightening place. But there's a much deeper and dimmer layer beneath. And the layer where the masked devils thrive people like me. And all the while, as the sun breathes light onto the streets, you can take comfort that I am your friend. I'll hold the door for you, compliment you. I won't judge or get jealous of your accomplishments. In fact, I'll wholeheartedly congratulate you for them. That's just the guy I am. But when the phone rings and your name happens to be the name that bleeds from my pen, well, then it's just business. And I don't hate you or want to see you fail. You just happen to get caught up in something you don't have control over. You're the mouse that got caught in the snake's mouth. So, how in the hell did we get here? Is it a test? A simulation? Or is it an all by chance scenario that we birthed into this freak show called society? And after all this happiness and struggle, praying and obsessing over materials and precious pointless gems, is it just blackness? And the lights turn off and whatever is left behind proceeds as if it never really even existed. Did we ever exist? I don't think I'll go to heaven, or hell for that matter, because, well, I never believed they were there in the first place. We can sit here and sing about how dark the world can get, but sometimes it's better just to sit on the edge of the earth and focus on the light. Take it from me, a man whose life is so beyond the pale. <laughs>